Are you a blogger or maybe a new website owner who wants an easy way to find new things to write about? This is a keyword research tutorial on how to find the best keywords to target for your website. So let's get started. Okay, so this keyword research tutorial is, I think, the easiest way to find unlimited new keywords to target and write about. So to start, make sure you have the Keywords Everywhere extension installed turned on, and make sure you purchase credits as well, because with credits, Keywords Everywhere will be able to show you the monthly search volume for the keywords that we will be researching. Now that's really important if you wanna do proper keyword research. All right, so let's just say we have a pet website, okay, and we're struggling to figure out new keywords to target. Uh, we don't know what are the best keywords we should be targeting immediately, or maybe we're stuck trying to figure out new blog posts to publish, right? Uh, but we do have a lot of knowledge about taking care of dogs. Uh, we have a lot of knowledge around maybe walking dogs, right? So let's just start there. So with our keyword research, I always like to start at the very uh, top, meaning I like to start with very general phrases, general topics, general keywords. So I went to Google, and for your keyword research, go to Google and just type in a general term. In this example, I typed in how to walk your dog, right? That seems like a topic that every single dog owner needs to know about. Okay, so, uh, but we're wondering, is this even a, even a good keyword? And we'll find out. So the search volume is 210 per month. Okay, so we know that there's some pretty good search volume for this uh, term. But let's do some more digging. Let's go a little bit deeper. So with the Keywords Everywhere extension installed, we have these addi additional widgets as well that we can analyze. I like to look at the SEO difficulty because it tells me whether or not this keyword is difficult for me to rank for. Okay, so the higher, higher SEO difficulty score, the higher it, the more difficult it will be for my website to rank for this keyword. So if I have a new blog, a new website, I like to focus first on keywords with an SEO difficulty around the 50 range, all right? So keep that in mind. Look at the SEO difficulty score. And to find additional uh, keywords, maybe more relevant keywords, more relevant topics to blog about, take a look at these additional widgets right here. Related keywords, uh, this is a list of the related keywords around your search term. Okay, so look at this list, see what makes sense, and look at the search volume. Okay, so how to walk a dog that pulls. Okay, so if you were to compare this phrase with this phrase, how to walk a dog that pulls has higher search volume. So maybe this one should be the keyword or the topic that I should write about first because the search volume is higher. Okay, so if you see any relevant keywords here um, that make sense for your websites, and or has a really good search volume, uh, you could save it by just clicking on the star, and then you can uh, view all of your favorited keywords in the My Favorite Keywords uh, report right here, okay? I also like to look at this widget right here, people also search for. So these are additional keywords that people also search for alongside your, your main search term right here. Okay, so you could see any relevant ones here. Um, how to walk your dog on a leash. It seems like it's also repeated in the related keywords widget as well. And that gives you some good insight because it means that, okay, this term is something that is pretty popular. Okay, people are also searching for how to walk your dog on a leash. Okay, so I'm gonna favorite that. It has some pretty good search volume. And then I also like to look at the long tail keywords. Now this list is good for any website, but particularly good for new bloggers, new websites. Okay, so these long tail keywords are phrases that have words uh, longer than three, four words long. Okay, so generally these are a lot more specific and the more specific the keywords are, 
uh, the lower the, the, the competition is. And this also gives you a good list of additional topics that you may not even think about. Okay, so let's take a look here with the long tail keywords. How hot is too hot to walk your dog? That has some pretty good search volume, right? So that could be a page you can dedicate to target that keyword. How to walk your dog on a leash. I think we saw that multiple times already. How cold is too cold to walk your dog? So maybe you can create a page around how hot and then in another page around how cold. All right. Now to go even deeper, I like to click on this button, uh, find long tail keywords for how to walk your dog. Okay, so keywords everywhere will uh, do their research and pull this report. And it found around 200 keywords for how to walk your dog. All right, so one trick that I like to do is um, click on the strict exact match because this will filter and only show me the phrases with this exact term, how to walk your dog. Okay, so why is this important? Why do I want to look at the strict exact match? Because this will give me a list of very targeted phrases that maybe if I have a new blog, if I have a new website and you know, I know for a fact that I probably might not rank uh, that easily for how to walk your dog because the SEO difficulty is 68. That's pretty high, uh, but I do want to create a pet website that is very, very targeted around dog walking. Right, so if I click on the strict exact match, then it'll show me all the keywords around how to walk your dog in various uh, instances and in various situations. So I could create a blog article for every single one of these relevant keywords, which will make my website a really good resource for visitors around dog walking. And when Google reads my website, it will know that my website is a really good resource around how to walk your dog. And over time, it will be easier for me to, to rank for these relevant dog walking phrases. Okay, so how to walk your dog. So I like to just, um, how to walk your dog, just visually. I like to just kind of search so I can highlight all of these. And now this is a gold mine, right? So how to walk your dog on a leash. Okay, you can write an article around that. How to walk your dog in the rain, all right? Without a leash, in the winter. How to walk your dog properly. Uh, how to walk your dog without pulling. So right here, just with this one report, within just a, a couple of minutes, I found, let's see, I found nearly 50 possible articles that I can write about, okay, using keywords everywhere. So very, very easy, easy, easy keyword research tutorial to find nearly unlimited uh, new keywords to target for your website. Okay, so go through here, see what makes sense, look at the search volume. Again, if you are a new blogger, a new, a new website, uh, it's okay to create articles with a lower search volume because you still have a new website with not that much authority. So it still makes sense for you to create very helpful articles for your audience, okay? Now, once I go through this, I like to, as you see here, I saved all of these keywords and then I'm gonna open up my favorite keywords list. I have this here and then I could go a little, a little bit deeper as well. Okay, I could go a little bit deeper as well. So I can start looking at just Googling this. Okay, so I just sorted by search volume. So how to walk a dog that pulls. So I'm gonna Google this. Okay, I'm gonna Google this. And what I'm looking for is the SEO difficulty. So this is a 48 out of 100. Okay, if you compare that with the first one, it's 68, All right? But the search volume is much higher. So this could be a better keyword than how to walk your dog. Okay, so I would create an article around this first, and then I'm gonna follow that same process. So I'm gonna go in here, do a Google search, and look at the SEO difficulty. It's 52, but the search volume is 170. 
all right? So it's still a better keyword than how to walk your dog, right? So this is another good uh, article to write about. Another thing you need to take a look at is just your competition as well. Do you see what anything that makes sense here, right? Everyone is talking about temperature, um, hot. So this is a good article that you can write about as well to compete with these ranking pages. Same with this one too, how to walk a dog that pulls, okay? You can see here, um, controlling pulling, right? You can see how I stop my, my dog from pulling, my dog pulls on the leash, right? So all of these articles are talking about pulling. So make sure you create an article around, you know, how to walk a dog that pulls. And then what you can also do is look, follow that same process I did initially. Look at the related keywords, right? If you see anything that makes sense, make sure you add the related keywords in your body copy, okay? Even people also search for long tail keywords. I really like this because you can um, add these phrases in your body copy and even elaborate on it, okay? Elaborate on it and educate people on really the details around how to uh, walk a dog that pulls, right? A strong dog, uh, you know, how to make a dog not pull when walking. So make sure you add all of these unique phrases in your body copy. So follow the same process, you know, for this third one, I'm gonna search for it, and let's just take a look at the SEO difficulty. Okay, so we know that the search volume is a little less than the first two that we did, right? But it's 55, right? So go through here, just take note of the SEO difficulty, uh, look at the competition, see if it makes sense to write an article about it. And this is how you can do keyword research um, for, for your blog, for a new website, for any website for that matter. Another thing you could do as well is um, if you have competitors, okay, if you have competitors that, that are very closely related to you, you could even do some competitive analysis around them, okay? So let's just say this one here, uh, Peach on a Leash. Let's just say this is a competitor of ours, okay? Now what we could do is find the organic ranking keywords, okay? so. For this one, teach your dog to walk on a leash without pulling. Okay, so how to walk your dog on a leash without pulling. Okay, so that's that's one keyword, but let's see what other additional keywords this page is ranking for. Okay, so keywords everywhere found, 85 keywords that that page ranks for. Okay, so if we want to write an article around this and we want to compete with this page, what we need to do is make sure we are targeting all of these keywords in the body copy because this page ranks for all of these keywords, all right? Um, in terms of relevancy, in terms of what keywords you need to add to make sure you add, look at the ones that have um, the highest search volume, right? How to leash train a dog has you know over 4,000 monthly search volume, how to train a dog to walk on a leash has over 4,000 search volume, right? So make sure you uh, put closer attention to the keywords that have higher search volume. And also just take a look at the SERP position as well, right? So if a keyword has some pretty good search volume and they are ranking on the first page, then that means you should add it on your page as you're writing the article. Okay, so look at your competitors. Um, and go back to the initial keyword uh, research uh, report, go through here, see what makes sense, and start writing articles for all of these relevant keywords. So this is a very super simple keyword research tutorial for your website. So hopefully you thought this video was helpful, and we will see you in the next one. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Please let us know by hitting that like button, subscribing to our channel, and if you want to learn more about Keywords Everywhere, feel free to click any of the videos on the screen. Thank you, and we will see you in the next one.